Hi, I'm Lindsay Moore, and I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes with you today. My blog, Just a Little Organic, is a lifestyle brand that embraces change as a gateway to beauty with a focus on wellness, personal growth, style, and of course, food. Today, thanks to Ingles, I'm going to cook with you. I'm going to show you how to bring my favorite dishes to your kitchen table. We're starting out at Ingles, getting the ingredients to make my fall Buddha bowl with the sweet goddess vinaigrette. For a full list of all the ingredients, check out the shopping list underneath the video player. You can print a list and take it with you or pull it up on your phone when you're at the store. Now let's get cooking. All right, we just got back from Ingles and now we're gonna make a fall Buddha bowl with a sweet goddess vinaigrette. We're gonna start with the vinaigrette and first add about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, about three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and then two teaspoons of maple syrup. So we'll do one and two first. Now a little bit of salt and pepper, starting with the pepper. A little bit of salt, maybe half a teaspoon or so. And we've also had some minced garlic, just one clove. We'll also have a little bit of lemon juice, probably two tablespoons when it's all said and done. All right, now that we have all of our ingredients except for the oil in there, I'm gonna give it a whisk. I'll just slowly pour about a fourth of a cup of olive oil into the bowl, slowly until everything comes together. All right, and now we'll go ahead and turn on our heat over here in the pan. We've got probably a tablespoon or two of olive oil in here heating over medium to medium high. We've got about a cup and a half of green beans and sugar snap peas that have been chopped into bite-sized pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those in, along with a whole package of spiralized sweet potatoes. Dump them right in. And then kind of push everything down. So we'll let this cook for five minutes and we'll be right back. All right, now that our veggies are tender, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and some pepper, and I'll give it a stir. You can either use two cups of pre-cooked quinoa, or you can get these, um, these little packages at Ingles. I'm just gonna add in the grains, and I'm not gonna use this whole box of spinach, but I'll probably use about a cup or two. Give it a little stir, and I'll, uh, I'll probably let this cook for three to five minutes just so that the spinach can wilt and the grains can heat up nicely. All right, now that our veggies are done cooking, our spinach is wilted and the grains are warmed through, we're gonna make our bowls. You're just gonna add a heaping pile of all of these good veggies and grains, and then you're gonna top the bowl with a little bit of spiralized beets, which you can also get at Ingles. Um, probably about a tablespoon or two for each bowl of pepita seeds or pumpkin seeds. And Ingles also has roasted salted seeds that are great. I also love adding um, a few slices of avocado for some extra protein. A drizzle of this sweet goddess vinaigrette over the top of each bowl. And you don't wanna to add too much, just a little drizzle. Should be great for each bowl and you're done. We're out of time for today, but I wanna thank you so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Remember, you can find this recipe, videos, photos, and more on the website at ingallstable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online.